My name is Adip Gonzalez. I was born in Oaxaca, Mexico. I'm uh, 33 years. I am an astrophysicist. My hobby is photography, particularly time-lapse photography. I'm working now at the Hawk Observatory. Hawk stands for the High Altitude Water Chenekov Observatory. Well, high altitude because it was built in this uh, mountain called Sierra Negra. It's uh, built at uh, an altitude of 4,100 meters above sea level, so it's very high. It's also water Cherenkov because the detection principle is water tanks where the gamma rays that come from sources that are very, very far away thousands of millions of uh, light years and then while well, these uh, gamma rays interact with the atmosphere there is uh, a shower of secondary particles very energetic particles and then when these particles hit the ground so when these particles hit the, the tanks they will produce a pulse of light in the water that is called a uh, Cherenkov light we collect with uh, photosensors we collect this light and these are very, very high sensitive uh, photosensors, so we can detect even uh, a single photon from this chain of light. The impressive thing, apart from uh, detecting this photon, is that from uh, the photons that we detect from this uh, very high energy gamma rays, we can tell a lot about, about these sources. From the shape of this spectrum, you can infer how this radiation was produced. It's impressive how with this, uh, let's say, limited information, we can know a lot of uh, something that is really, really far away. The adventure to get there starts uh, from the city itself, uh, getting, getting up really early to avoid the traffic of the city to get out. And then traveling uh, three, four hours to the base town, the uh, town that is in the base of the mountain where we sleep. Actually, they have a lot of ships. You can find a lot, a lot of ships in the in the in the road. Sometimes they took a lot of time to get out of the way. The first thing that you will see will be huge, huge tanks, and I mean huge tanks. These tanks are uh, almost five meters high and with a diameter of seven meters so they are really huge and they and you will see a lot of them there are 300 of these tanks and each tank can hold up to 200,000 liters so that's a lot of water you can see see them clearly in google maps I've been related to this experiment since 2008. I was there in the in the site when there was nothing there. Actually, there was no road to the site. We have to walk like a kilometer in the, in the mountain to get to the site and there was nothing. And I was there from the beginning. I was there when the, the first uh, prototype of, the, of these tanks, steel tanks, were built. And actually, we didn't have much idea how to build these tanks, so we were testing uh, ways to build them. And this first uh, prototype, those were that we have to build by hand, carrying the plates with our own hands and with our strength. <laughs> and it was really hard <laughs> working at that, at that altitude. So we have to do some hard work, I mean, uh, carrying these plates and uh, screw them and, uh, and using ladders to carry them. 
really tough because you get out of air really fast because uh, well the air up there is thin was kind of uh, hard <laughs> The best part, the best part of all is, uh, particularly when you live in a big city, like Mexico City, is to see the stars. Because in the cities it's becoming really hard to, to, to see stars. Uh, when you are up there uh, with no clouds and you are seeing the stars, well, it's, uh, I don't know, your mind gets full of uh, inspiring ideas or you just it's really incredible to be there this experiment will expand the knowledge about these uh, gamma ray sources, especially at uh, very high energies. So far, there is no other experiment in the planet that can measure uh, at these very high energies. But I don't know, I would like to think about what we cannot see now. I mean, when these experiments are designed, are designed based in detect what we know we can detect but the, exi the exciting part is to observe something that we didn't expect and i hope after 10 years of uh, taking data we can find something that we didn't expect that would be the exciting part